do it today. Um, so yeah, today the schedule is defense practice and then if I have time I'll be going to training mode and just kind of fucking around with pressure um, I will have to like take a little five minute interval because I need to get longer but uh, for now we can ignore that uh, yeah so today I'm gonna go to Tsubaki first which is I don't know, she's kind of a rare character on Steam, so um, this is something I wanted to do for a long time because uh, frankly I'm really bad against this move right here. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm just gonna like quickly go over buttons so I, kn so I know what I'm getting into and hopefully you, maybe you guys will learn something too. Um, let me pull up dust loop make sure I have the frame data right. So as far as I know, her... Oh, it even has the uh, stance cancel frame data. That's pretty useful. Um, as far as I know, her jabs are pretty standard. It looks like they're both minus on block. But as... Let me turn off counter here. <laughs> um, as far as I can tell, their jabs are pretty useful. Just because staggering them as usual will create frame traps. Um, her 5B, easily her longest range. Let me turn the dummy on. Yeah, so... Uh, so yeah. Her 5B, easily her longest range button for just her normals. Uh, it is... Scrim, that's that's the the pun. Is I'm not teaching... Lychee's not teaching me shit, I'm learning Lychee. And you guys are supposed to help along with me. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, her 5B, jump cancelable on hit, longest range, easily, and it has the 5B B follow-up. Uh, at range, this is probably, like everything else, there's no way it's hitting. Except 6B, which moves her forward. Um, yeah, unless you're gonna go 3C. 5B, 6B, this is the move that, combined with 6A, I have trouble with. Because this is a low, a standing low, follow up is also a low, but the, the at first part animation looks really similar to 6A to me. Although if I look at it closely, it doesn't really look that similar. <laughs> Some things are wrong with my brain if I think this looks similar, but... Uh, somebody is following. Anonymous. I don't know if that's your name, or it's like an anonymous follow thing. Thank you very much for following. Jacob, yes, this is a Blue Yeti. Uh, I decided to go all out with that shit. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Thanks, Jacob. Actually, I'll be in Orlando in September. So, if you want to come down then. I would love to see you and Adrian and everyone else. Is this good? No. Uh, so yeah, this is mainly... Let's see if I can... Talk towards the logo? Mm, 
Yeah. So I have the logo on this side. Do I just point it towards me now, or do I just like stick it up straight? Stick it up straight. All right. I don't know if that'll help, but thank you very much. Uh, okay, I want to get into this. So I'm just gonna like quickly go over it. This is a low. It has a fall off. It's a low. This is also a low. This is block string filler, and then the infamous chat box and stream is still compressed. Um. Sure, I'll uh, I'll hit you up. What the fuck? Oh wait, I think we're getting closer. Except it shows too much. Uh, let me change the font size. Alberta. <laughs> Maybe next year I will come to like Canada Cup or something. Also, what the fuck just happened? Uh, the chat box just disappeared. Uh, if you guys could type something real quick, that'd be great. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on that. Because uh, I think I fixed it. Oh. It's kind of fixed. Okay. I think that's good. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to record. I think I already have most of these recorded. Because I was practicing this earlier. Okay, yeah. So that's good. Okay. One v one me AMQ. Maybe later. Uh I will I am gonna have to end the stream early ish because I need to pick up my laundry, but uh so I have two A two A six A what is this? Two A two A I play this again. So I think what I need to record is not that. I think I need to record now. 2A, 2A, 2B, 2B, 5B, 5B, 6B, right? Or is that what's in the first one? Okay, yeah, that is what I need to do. Uh, so I'm going to record one more and then I'm just going to put them on random. So what I want is... That's what I want. And then I'll stick it on random. So the reason I put that 6B in is to just... Because the rest of the strings are the same, except it differs on the overhead part. So what I want to see is... One, to test the reaction and see if I can get better at that shit. Uh... I'll play you at AMQ. Uh, I think Saturday and Sunday are going to be like my fuck around days where I just play whatever, but we'll see. Uh, I'll be up to uh, play AMQ during then. Uh, so Barrier is really good for Subaki, as far as I know, because a lot of her normals get pushed out. Like right there, you just saw it just whiffed. But... Uh, I got hit a little there, but... I mean, obviously even better instant barriering. I have a weird... So, yeah, the moment they wanna... I wanna bury her out, and then once she whiffs, I wanna press a button or jump out. And that's what I wanna practice today. Or, I don't think I... She can delay any of these chains and create sort of like a frame trap. So I don't... I could try instant blocking and like mashing. I'll try. Uh, okay, well, first I have to instant block her. 
Yeah, so right there I tried to instant block and mash, but I'm pretty sure unless they delay it by a lot, that's not going to work. So in general, I just want to make her whiff and normal. Mash D I could mash DP, but let's say my staff is way over there. I don't got anything. I guess I could mash super. <laughs> Uh, no, even mashing super, like, I'd have to do it on reaction to a move, and I'd rather just block. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna try and instant barrier as much as I can, and then when I notice a hole, I wanna try and punish it, or jump out. But my defensive option is also, like, my neutral tool. Also, the chat box is going, like, off the screen. Uh... Uh, if I make it any smaller, will you guys like not be able to see it? Let's try 11 point font. Is there a way to crop the f mm. You have to make it so the username's cut off. So like, just... Oh, I see what you're saying. So like that, where it's just cutting the names off? Like that? But then what's the point? Like, you guys can't see anything. Whatever, I'll figure this out later. Uh, for now, I'm gonna leave it like this. Okay, yeah, I'll mess around with it later. But for now, I'm gonna leave it like that. You guys can see some messages, so. Alright, well, I also have this weird thing where when I instant barrier, I get high way more than I get low. So, I'm gonna try and fix that too. Like right there, I just tried instant burying and I got caught. Oh fuck, this is hard. Oh my god. Alright. Or maybe I should just bury her and then focus on the mix up. Also, the hammer hasn't come out once. Even though they're all set to 100, whatever. So right there, I should have punished. Okay, yeah, that's that's what I want to do. Like even something like 5B, which is, uh, I don't know how many startup frames it is. I should probably know this. It's my own character. It is 11 frames of startup. Okay. So even there, like an 11 frame move, I got out before she could do anything because she whiffed. Okay, well. And then if I do get a hit, I'm going to try and confirm it. Well, that, that's not a... Oh, even 5C works. But the problem comes when she starts doing stance cancel pressure. But it's, there's too many variations for me to record like that, so I'm going to focus on just like blocking 6A and making her whiff. Because if I fit in the stance cancel, there's way too much shit I need to do. So... The frame date is on dust loop if you want to see how much stance cancel leaves her like minus or the most she can do it says it's neutral if she stance cancels 5cc so uh they're all minus but it's all like a small amount so you gotta yeah charge cancel my bad uh lychee stuff is stance cancel Uh, I'm sad to hear it, Dreams. I actually saw your name was missing and I was like, oh man. 
But yeah, good luck moving. Is it like a long move or are you like just moving somewhere within your state or something? Okay, I tried to press something there, but it's just... Also, I believe 6A is... You can cancel it into a move. So maybe mashing after that is probably not a good idea. Yeah, Gatling's in the 5C, which it says is airtight, even on instant block. So once you block it, you don't want to just mash afterwards. <laughs> Okay. I don't know how useful this practice is going to be because a real opponent is going to like stagger it a lot. Like when I play against Kumo or somebody, they're not going to do this string over and over again. Especially since Tsubaki can like gaddling a lot of her B normals. There's basically like, because of the follow ups, there's like a million different moves she can do. And they're usually going to vary the tempo of the move. So maybe it's better... well, I should still practice this part. Let's do... Uh, is this the 6A one? Yeah, let's turn this one up so that it occurs more often because that... I want to practice blocking that a lot. Uh, that's the low one, so... I'm actually pretty confident in blocking the hammer. It's this thing that kills me. Oh, I have it on normal, don't I? Yeah. And I know I can 5A out of hammer, but it's kind of... It's very scary to me. <laughs> Yeah, I tried to 5A on reaction to that right there, and I just got fatal. Actually, wow, that move fatals? And you can Gatling into 5C afterwards? Okay, so... Let's try, like, up backing and trying just mashing jump out and see. Yeah, okay. Mashing jump out's not working. <laughs> Unless I bury her out. Now even then it's kinda... Why... Uh, I wanted to start with Ragna, but... Um, I don't actually know that much about Ragna. <laughs> And I know Tsubaki's been somebody that I've been wanting to lab for a while because of the 6A. Because whenever I play Kumo, I don't know, like once every couple of weeks. And literally every single time I play him, I'm like, I need to lab defense against 6A because it kills me so much. The, the hammer I'm less concerned about because I'm pretty confident in blocking it. Yeah, but am I going to DP, like, right, right there, I try to DP because it's, like, 2A. <laughs> uh, my, I don't think I can DP, like, I'm very slow and bad at the DP input, so I don't know if I can... <laughs> Input it that fast on reaction. I literally have an easier time instant blocking than TPing out of that on reaction. I try to do it again right there. Okay. Maybe I can DP the hammer. <laughs> okay. 
Interesting too. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I apologize that this is not the best. Like, this is not exciting to watch at all, but I knew this coming into it, so. I mean, I, I told people this yesterday, Jacob, but like, this was my way of forcing myself to do shit that I wanted to do for a while and then I didn't actually do it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is the shit that everybody hates doing, but... Also, I should really just block the first jabs and then instant block afterward. Oh, I should have did jump and I got... Okay. I mean, frankly, it's probably not useful for most people, but I'm one of those types of players who, like, if I don't practice shit in the lab, then it's never going to come out in an actual game. Yeah, it, it, it's very, the frame data makes it look much worse and I have trouble with it if that makes any sense, but like, I, I'm not really one that'll mash out of an overhead, I'd rather just like block it or uh, jump out of one or something like that. Let's try like air dashing out. Now. Okay, well, I didn't press anything there, but... 2-2-D. <laughs> okay. I tried to fly B right there. Boxing stuff. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be a weekly tournament, so you'll definitely have a, a chance to join next week. And if I was a tryhard, I'd be practicing for my matches and shit, but instead I'm going to try hard in different ways. Okay, I don't know why I keep... Why do I? Okay. I don't know why I get high block when I'm trying to instant block so much. I guess my my finger must be inputting like closer to the four diagonal than one. Oh yeah, I should practice without the staff too. Okay. 
I don't want a barrier 6A actually. There's no reason to. Honestly, Subaki might be one of those characters where it's literally just easier to do regular barrier than try to instant block. Just because there's so many... I feel like Subaki players in general have so many uh, options to stagger their moves and mess up an instant block timing, but... I don't know. I still want to practice it. I said I'm confident in blocking Hammer, and then I've gotten hit by like four in a row. I should have... Right there I need to press something. Not right there, but... When I make them whiff... Maybe... Yeah, maybe 2B right there. I guess 5B works right there, but to confirm off that, at max range like that, like 6C would work there, but that's only knowing if I would hit 5B. So I would probably just go straight into gut shot or something, or like do the Rekka series and get a knockdown. Okay. Like that. See, me getting hit by that 2B right there tells me that I'm not blocking it on reaction. That's more like a read thing. Up DP. Yeah, but that requires you to be mashing a like either that or no, there's no way you could react to that, right? Like, even though it says there's an eight frame gap. That means, oh yeah, I have a 7 frame startup 2A, I can mash in between it. That doesn't really like take into account the fact that you'd have to react to that. Um, oh communist, what's up man? Thanks for the follow. Just mash DP. Uh, well he could probably do like 5BB into 5C and get a counter hit. I can't mash DP like S can and just RC it because I can't RC Lychee's DP. Um, I'm pr there's so many different variations of frame traps that Tsubaki can that like, I don't think mashing unless you have a read on like a charge cancel or something is gonna be the right answer for the most part. Um, Plus, like, so many of your moves are also special cancelable, and I didn't test it. I should probably test that sometime, but I bet she can also frame trap with 2, 3, 6, uh, any of those. Maybe not the, the B or C version, but the A or D. Eh, maybe not the D. Maybe just the A. Anyway, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, I know Kumo will do a lot of stagger, pre like he's very good at, I keep talking about Kumo because he's like literally the only Tsubaki left on Steam that's active, but um, he's very good at like checking people's defensive habits. Sutra is inactive at this point.
Do you actually see him on? I don't see... It's been forever since I've seen him on. Probably, like, at least a month. And then before that, like, months before that. Really? What time? I guess I'm just not home because I'm at work or something. What's your punish meter list? Oh, you mean non-crush trigger? Uh, just go 60 DP. Like at this range, if you hit 5B, you can only really confirm. Without crush trigger, you would just do uh, like that. Yeah, you can get counter hit 5B. Like, I've been doing that a little bit. Let's see if I can get it. Uh. But see right there, at this range, maybe if I don't do... Yeah, yeah. At that range, the normal 3C route won't work. So you do just go into 6D and then DP. Or you could spend meter or OD for it, but... The safest thing would be like that. And then I just get a safe jump right there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's only if I get a counter. Like, I could try mashing 3C after I make her whiff, but that's like... I still can't block this shit. Also, she just goes... <laughs> Through the, yeah, I'm not even gonna mash 3C, so. Oh wow, that didn't even confirm. Yeah, I have to be on point. Like, I have to read that she's gonna whiff for that. Yeah. Um. Here, uh... 2B starter? I don't think so. Uh... No, you can't. But I think if it's like a longer range... Oh, you can. Oh. I forgot the staff extends with her. Well, that is uh, interesting. I'll write that down. Thank you. 2BM counter hit. But, well, the problem with that is if I don't know, like... If I don't know this is gonna... I wonder if I can do it on the guy. Yeah, I guess I have enough time to react like that. Like, oh, I counter hit right there, so... How long does it leave her? Hmm, that's kind of... Anyway, uh, I need to grab my laundry, so I will be back in like five minutes. I'm gonna put up a little, uh, BRB five minutes. Nope. お手柔らかにお願いね。
お手柔らかにお願いね。お手柔らかにお願いね。お手柔らかにお願いね。5.1 <laughs> Alright, uh, so yeah, I got like 50 minutes until I gotta get to the next batch um, I think now I'm gonna practice block strings Listen, man, I'm not denying that she's s you. If you go back to the server and uh, look, just search in the logs, and I've been saying, like, she's, like, the best character in the game before I even touched her, like, a long time ago. <laughs> Who blocks on that play? <laughs> Okay, so what I, what I should do is yesterday we lapped some frame traps. Um, I should be incorporating those. Uh, so instead of doing like just doing this, I should be like staggering it a little bit. A lot of the times there's no reason not to stagger pressure. It's just a matter of getting it down. Dishonest combos. <laughs> well, uh, Lychee's jab, I believe, is minus three. Or two A's. I know her five A's really good, but that's only if they're crouched. No, it's just neutral, okay. Uh, let's put him to crouching. No, that's a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just 
some reason my Itsu cancels are not coming out. What? 6-4 Koki? What's the, uh... I only know him by notation, not the special name. Uh, is Kote straight through or no? Oh, yeah. Wait, in pressure? You mean just like using it randomly? <laughs> can mash out of that, right? Or are you saying they're just like prepared for the horizontal set and then you do that? This is true. <laughs> I'm not too much a fan of her run. Could also do that, but I'm actually not sure which range this hits. Okay, so I either have to be max range or I have to be really close. Because this this hits with their hand, this hits with the staff. I wanted it to. Right? I don't want to run up into it. I should just do 2B right there. What I'm trying to do is just repeat like freestyle block strings until it becomes like second nature to do this. Or in the corner you can get staff. Quattro Cases. <laughs> yeah, four wins is uh, quite the move. Yeah, I keep telling myself I need to do 2B there. Or maybe 6B. The other thing that I'm having trouble with is like, for some reason her dash has like, I feel like it almost has a startup and I'm, because I'm so used, I was so used to Lambda's dash and I guess Lambda's dash is just really good. Instead of 5D set, which is a naturally. Yeah, yeah, uh, her DP gives you vertical set. But if you get the corner, you have time to set it horizontally, but for the most part when I get the corner, I just try to like either do that so I just get something free, or what I've been doing is what Uri does a lot, which is that, and then I can get like a delayed air dash. But yeah, that's, that's beside the point. Also, I'm really bad with Probably more of a Yeah, vertical stuff and is uh it's so good versus up back.
And then there's the classic, uh... Cross up right there. I need to do that more. Like I know how to do it. It's just I never. <laughs> that's a, that's the case with Lychee in so many ways. Is like I know how to do a lot of the stuff. It's just that in an actual game, I just don't do it for some reason. Yeah, I get it. I wanted to... Right. If you cancel it too fast enough. You're like really close to me. And then you can grab. But I've been trying to do less of 60 Itsu cancels because people have caught on to it. Fucking up a lot of like little movement things. Like my air dashes on this side, I can't seem to get clean. I'm trying to incorporate more 6Bs in, and even right now, like, as I'm trying to practice pressure, I keep forgetting the frame traps that I'm supposed to be putting in. So, maybe do through more 3Cs. Yeah, uh, well, 40 is minus, right? Let me take a look. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. It's the one that not a lot of people block, though, so I get what you're saying. Fatal counter? No, it's just counter hit, I believe. But, uh, I want to do more, like, 3C, even though it technically, like, ends my turn, and if I'm not spaced correctly. Like, yesterday... That right there will catch jump outs, but if they're not jumping out. It's not foolproof, but... That was missed time. I want to do... Well, I've been trying to implement... Like, doing the cross-up so that the staff hits, because... It never occurred to me that that's the actual thing that I need to do. I tried to move the staff right there. <laughs> I also need to do that more, which is like, that's what I should be doing, is doing run up and release the staff. Instead of... Oh, I'm not good at that. <laughs> I want the running, like, call, like that one, but it looks like you have to be running for a while. And that's not what I wanted. D 
dude, I already know I'm gonna forget half this shit when I start playing, but the hope is that if I do it enough, I'll eventually get all this shit down. I wonder if it's better to do a it's I don't know. Like. Wow, it almost sides with you there. How do I keep fucking up it's What's going on? There we go. Oh wow. Okay, well anyway, I'm not gonna... Confirms or another deal. Man, that's... That's a bad sign if I'm fucking that shit up. <laughs> Already I can tell I'm not doing as many. I need to try frame trapping with like 2v, 6v. But the problem is like after 6v I kind of lose pressure. I can't even Itsu cancel it. Yeah. I can't go into 4B either, so it really is like the end of my turn, except 6C, which I can't hit to cancel either. Yeah, 6C and 6B are the frame, like the auto frame traps, but I can't use them without ending my turn, kind of. Although I suppose if I use it at that range, like, I do this. They have a little bit of time to get out, but in general they're probably not going to get out. Can't do three C that close. Especially if Renchan misses it. I should be doing gut shot right there, I think. Let's see. Mm. No. Mm. Missing it to cancel. What is going on? See, that's what I usually do if I want to use 60 in a block thing, but this run up after the horizontal set is so unsafe. Not, I don't know why I did that. This part. I need to stop doing run up 2A because I have long reaching moves and I'm staffless like those. 
So I don't know why I'm committing myself to do a run up. Maybe I could do... Is there any use to 2BM? I mean, it does move you forward. Keep mistiming my staff calls like just slightly, so it's, it looks like not smooth. Same with like a lot of little movement things. I wonder if that's any use. Probably too much delay on that. Look at how far that pushes you away. Oh, <laughs> 
I don't have any hope. Actually, my OD combo is just fake, dude. I haven't actually learned a real one. So, uh... The, the most I know is, like, at this range if I wanted to confirm the OD. That's the most I know. But if you're talking just raw OD, like... I know how to do loop. Or, uh... Well, I need more OD time. Why do I keep messing it up? Alright, well... <laughs> the point is... Uh, if I do OD and I get this... You get the idea. It's not cool, and it's literally the only OD thing I know, so... I think I've hit you with this room. But it seems that I forgot how to do it consistently. Maybe I don't need a dash. Oops. Oh yeah, <laughs> I need to learn a real one, but that's that's besides the point. Uh... All right, thanks for watching, Scream. I appreciate it.
That'd be cool if I could land it. It's too much time. Though. They have time to jump out of that for sure. And probably hit me if they realize what's going on. Keep missing the DP. But yeah, maybe I can start. I can only do the charge version, so it's probably not a good idea. Because I already do 6D Itsu way too much and they mash out of that sometimes. So there's no way that this would catch them. Also, I cannot hit the DP today. I might have to change the schedule so that I can practice actual confirms. <laughs> Wow, 236A did not hit the I mistimed it. Yeah, I really need to set aside a day to uh, practice. Comfort. I think tomorrow in the schedule I have video analysis open lobby. Yeah, that sounds about right. Actually, what I used to do a lot of was like crush trigger as the staff's going back. Because a lot of people don't need to barrier the staff, so. Maybe I'll start doing that again. Of course, it only. Vertical set is just like. It opens so many more options, but it's also way more risky. Horizontal just doesn't. Unless you're doing a delayed release, it's not as useful, I think. Wow, my inputs are starting to get real spaghetti. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, uh, actually, I promised somebody in the Lychee Discord that I'd look over his replays, so I might do that in the future. Oh my god, my inputs right now are so bad. I need a better way to close the gap. Yeah. 
without spending meter. <laughs> I can't even air dash that well anymore. I think in the corner. Yeah, that's pretty safe right there. Not full through, but. I think what I might do is, since after this my laundry's done, I was gonna end the stream, but maybe, maybe I'll just like watch a replay and fold the laundry. <laughs> uh, what else could I do? I could look at brackets. I could. I don't know. I could just sit in a room and watch people play. I guess. I need, I need to start Itsu cancelling things that are not 6D, because I do it so much, when I could really be cancelling any of them. And I, it's not like the best, actually, okay, well I'm just bad with the input. <laughs> wow, this is when I know my spaghetti inputs are a problem. <laughs> when I can't input DP correctly. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so I'm definitely gonna, in like five or six minutes, I'm probably going to, I don't know, should I watch a replay, or should I just like, do something else? Because I do need time to hold my laundry, and I didn't really want to end the stream. 
Sitting here. Uh... Wow, there's 12 people for the weekly. That's not bad. That's more than I thought would show up. Um... Yeah, I'm probably just gonna close the game right now because my inputs are getting real bad. Uh, tomorrow. Probably watch some replays and then anyone. I'll probably open a room and if you want to stop by, I will probably play whoever comes in first and it'll just be a 1v1. Or if there's a lot of people, I guess we could do an open room like Chane does, but hmm. Mm, yeah. But for now, I'm going to close CF, I'm going to open, um, I wonder if Zach uploaded the Fight Night VODs yet. Maybe we can look at those. Blaze Blue Fight. I don't know why it's so hard to find these on YouTube. Uh, jump. <clears throat> Looks like... Okay, he doesn't have the most recent ones up yet, so... Yeah, I guess I'll just open up the good old keep on blazing shit. Um, on blaze. Uh, no, not keep on blaze. Ooh, okay, so this is what uh, I remember on Twitter Barlow was talking about how difficult this match is. So I really want to take a look at this because I'm really bad at this matchup. He even said it was one of the hardest matchups for Falcon High in the game, I believe. So I guess Barlow's, yeah, I mean, it goes as about as I expected in terms of, like, he's got to navigate the staff with wolf form. It gets in right there, but what I'm interested in seeing is if, if Uri just throws the staff out and Barlow's trying to navigate it and he gets clipped by it, is Uri ready to confirm that, like, perfectly? Because if not, I feel like the risk-reward of going in would be higher for uh, Falcon High. That's dirty. I eat, I don't know, eating and, like, supering versus Falcon High. Like, he's so mobile and good at baiting it. Although, if you watched uh, Adroth, he did delayed EA versus Jonah, and it actually hit. 
So maybe the secret is to just delay it a second. Because you know they're going to try and bait it. I mainly want to look at the neutral interactions here, but... How am I supposed to see the chat? And Oh, I can just see it through Streamlabs. Because I was like checking through... Uh, just opening the window. Hello, Trifinal. Yeah, um, I was practicing pressure and defense earlier, but my fingers are hurting. So we're going to watch this, and later I'm just going to like watch this while folding laundry. So I'm not even going to be able to pause it or anything. And I'm probably going to turn my webcam off when I do that, too. So. Barlow's really, like... A student of the game like he's very uh i know in the recent times he hasn't done it as much but he used to do a lot of that's the wrong super right i don't think he meant to get all green there but maybe not he used to do a lot of streams where he would go over things like i i'm doing except he's actually good so it actually makes sense <laughs> oh wait So right here is what I want to do. Keep him blocking right here at this distance. So the vertical set does that. And 2B, even if he jumps right here, the staff would keep him in. So the answer to this is just make sure you're not too far away when you do this. And then they're instantly caught in that. Although that's only corner specific, I guess. Because otherwise the vertical staff has to travel away from, uh, longer. Mm. I will definitely turn the camera off when that happens in a minute and a half. Good super. It's kind of greedy that he went for the C wrecker right there, but whatever. I imagine he would have tried to do more like Itsu there and try and bait a counter assault. Although these guys play a lot, so maybe he knows that Barlow's not going to counter assault there. That's a cool route. Yeah, I mean, he has to guess. Is it going to be Wolf Jump JA or is it just going to be regular old low? It's so hard to react to that. Okay, so that right there, I guess. This is, I guess, the type of risk I should take more, where he sets it vertical and sends it up, and he knows Barlow is probably going to stay on the ground to avoid that, and then he just goes in. I think Barlow was probably trying to go into Wolf so he could jump out later, but he gets clipped by that. And he almost gets the confirm. That's that's pretty tough to get the confirm right there, I think. I'll let this game finish and then I need to grab my stuff. 100 meter, he's almost got a... He just ran up and <laughs> bit him in the ankle. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, the window captures over the overlay. Oops. Oh wait, I want my camera covered up, so I'll just do this. Yeah, um... How do I make this super visible? 
This is good, right? You guys can see it right there. I will be right back, and then I will watch the rest of this. I haven't practiced stick in a while, but I don't know. I feel like right now my focus is on other things, so it is really fun to use. So maybe I'll come back to it sometime. Wow, he just <laughs> he woke up and jumped and then did the cross up. I guess expecting a DP. But it's blocked the low, I believe. It's plus unless he needs to block it. I could be wrong. It's been a little while. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Just that. You are correct, Ebonic Plague. It is indeed plus unless you instant block it. That's the one overhead that's worked countless times. Oh, yeah. Four D right there from Lanky when she has a staff. Is an overhead. You know, kind of jumps off. Yep. And has that weird sliding knockdown. Gets the RC damage. Yeah. Well, you RC it just to get the. Hmm. I wonder, maybe like Saturday or Sunday when I'm free. I had Fire Emblem as like my dick around game, but I was thinking maybe I'll play like League or something. <laughs> I feel like that could be somewhat entertaining. Don't do it. No, you're coming with me, dude. We'll get the squad together and it'll be a stream of like wash blaze blue players try to play league. Think of the entertainment value. I ain't going back. 
sure that you toss and jump over it, just keep covering your brush. <laughs> so you want to keep those hitboxes out as long as you can because like so we could be the next LCS team. Me, you, Scrim, Aerith, and Bacon. So it's like it's whatever. <laughs> oh, yo, counter! I like it. So JB and around third to be able to stop him. Again, this is like that's that staff six that six B has just been the overhead that's worked out. Regular like six B is not impressive, but ah, uh, the class. Well, not classic, but. That's something that I was just practicing. The 6B cancel right before the staff comes back. Also, he definitely labbed that OD. That is not an easy ODR to get. And I know Barlow, uh, he had this thing a while ago where he valued uh, active flow on Valkenhayn because it's so important for him to get the wolf meter back. And it pushes his damage up, which is usually pretty subpar, uh, off of his like usual mix-up options. Pushes his damage up to like normal levels, or like good levels. So I'm not surprised to see him go for that instead of like a. I don't know what options Valk has for knockdown. Like I don't know if he gets like a safe jump off of a lot of things or something. Wow, that was really good. I don't know if that was an accident because it looked like he hesitated or something and or he wasn't prepared for it. But, uh, what was I saying? I don't even remember anymore. <laughs> I want to watch, I know there's like a confirm he does, that's like the infamous one, where Lychee does the reversal super and gets 5k off of it. Oh, that was really, that's super smart right here. There's, there's nothing he can do. He's in Wolf, he just pauses time and then just all greens here. Because <laughs> Wolf can't block. I mean, Active Flow's really good, but if I'm like Suzano or like certain other characters. Because EA usually doesn't get you the best knockdown. So, uh, like even with Lychee, it's better usually, especially since EA automatically side switches, it's better usually just to like go and wait for the OD to end and then end with a good like good knockdown so you get the good OD but I guess if you're a character like uh, that has like a pretty standard knockdown not like a crazy good OD or anything then yeah probably just better to get the active flow Wow. See, he has good he has good defense when he wants to block. It's just sometimes he gets caught doing like not great options on defense or risky options, I guess. That's not it, Chief. I think Barlow didn't think it was going to miss, so he tried to wolf back dash to gain the invisibility or something. Yeah, he wants. Oh my god. I did not block that. I don't care what you say. You didn't block it either. You already did. Only you read it. There's the double. Oh okay, my he, is, he is literally inventing mix up. Oh, the classic. The regular stuff doesn't work. You gotta pull something out of your ass. That's what it is at the end of the day. He was literally inventing mix ups just to open him up. He was like, man, why is the wolf reactable? This is some bull. <laughs> but no one blocks wolf. Look at your ego. Oh, thank you, Staff. Four Staff. wins. Keep Keeps going after you get hit. Yeah, Uri's looking super strong. Yeah, I love it. Just throw out 
throw it out, chase after it, just wait for it, see how Barlow reacts without Barlow. I have so much trouble if Val just decides to go in. <laughs> but I guess Uri's confirms are bet like way better, so it commands a different type of respect where even if he gets clipped by the staff, he's pr probably scared of like a full confirm. Ah, God, that low. Good at navigating the staff. And Barlow staying alive. At least one more round. He caught him. Fifteen seconds left. All over at that point. I wish my character could air super. I'm just kidding. It's fair. He gets uh. He needs every bit of damage he can get. But. Am I focusing just on trying to control her neutral game? Um, when I'm watching replays, that's my main focus of what I'm looking at. I mean, obviously right now I'm kind of distracted because I'm doing other things. But normally when I watch replays, I want to look at the neutral game. Because it's something that you either need to play games or you need to study and play games to learn. Whereas I can lab uh, pressure or confirms. That's on my own time. But I, if I want to sit down and watch something, this is what I use it for. <laughs> or to find like new confirms that I normally wouldn't know about. <clears throat> That's so risky. I don't know why. He, well, I mean, there's always a reason he went for it, but that's like the Yomi level, right? It's just like there's so many options Barlow had to beat that option. So statistically, I would have taken a different route. But maybe Uri was like doing the next level read where he's like, well, maybe he's going to counter all those other options, so I should just go for the dumb thing. He was definitely smiling because he picked must die, but whatever. He needed the micro dash to confirm that, but I guess he was a little too far away with the initial 6A for that to connect. And D Lychee, one of the few characters that can confirm like a full combo after he dropped it. Oh my god. God, hold on. <laughs> First of all, 
Lychee in the corner. If she hits DP, she can get a full combo. And normally right here... It might be because of SMP that the normal ender that he would do, he sees that he has this much HP left. So he could definitely kill him because you can hit them after this DP and then do the Cigarette Man super. But maybe it was... Did he just mistime it? Oh, he definitely mistimed it. Uh, before they touch the ground, you can do 60 first hit into the Cigarette Man super. And right here, it looks like he missed 60. Yeah, he gets the super, but he missed the 60. And then he's just like, no whiff recovery. I'm going to do a super because he's going to EA. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> it's because he buried. It pushed... Let's see how far out it pushes him. Oh, uh, she just moonwalks right out of. Oh, that sucks. If he had buried right here, this would have been the correct choice. But now he gets, and this DP actually hits him, because Lychee moves forward during it. That sucks. Honestly, burying most supers is like, it's like a panic thing, right? Because if you want to punish most supers, you want them to be really close to you. But I don't blame, I mean, in that situation, there must be so many different things going through his mind. Super good defense, so. That's an accident. So yeah, it looks like Uri is mostly running away and letting the staff do the work. Hello, Monolith. Uh, he's using the staff. Yeah, I didn't mean to do video analysis today, but I had to do shit. Also, I just noticed this BRB thing is on my screen still. My bad. Uh... He's mostly using the staff to run away, but there are times where he runs in. So you are correct, Trefinal. I do need to run in occasionally, but it has to be like a good risk to take. I guess I just need to practice it more. That was really smart, but uh, Barlow had the super good reaction to jump out there. Godlike read. He's gonna need something, anything, but he cannot take one clean hit from Lychee. Oh, you were you know. talking about the one thing he needed, right? Okay, but the problem is he has no wolf beater. Oh. Oh. Okay. Right, the oh, he it. These are such risky oh. supers and EAs he's doing. <laughs> Especially, I mean, you gotta take risks sometimes. Right here. What did he whiff before? Like 2B or something? Yeah. I mean, this is almost never going to hit, so... I feel like statistically this is a bad idea, but... I think it's not too risky. It... It's okay. When I first played Lychee, I had the same thought that I throw the staff out and then I run in so that I can, like, because it covers a lot of space. I had the same thought. But the thing is, like, it it's not covering you until a certain part of the uh, travel time. And that's the part that I usually want to go in during. Uh, just move with it. Well, with the arc, it moves in. It's not like I was running away, like, all the time. Like, yes, I wanted to get space, but I was looking for an opportunity to run in most of the time. It's just that when you jump and navigate the staff, 
I don't really want to go in without like having something to cover me. But I guess in retrospect, there are times when I need to run in because I know they're going to jump after the first part of the staff hits. Um, kind of. I mean, Lychee can only put out the staff. Like, it can't be out on the screen that often. It There's, like, a huge hole where it's coming back to her, and there's plenty of time to, like, get in, especially with Valkenhayn. It's not that easy, dude. <laughs> They're, like, the one-button neutral meme is, like true in some cases and you see yuri do it a lot yeah but you can't just have it on standby all the time it's not okay if you have the staff on standby falconheim doesn't have to approach you can just sit there in human form jump d because that game oh so yeah, you let him sit there, sit still, and then what? You're throwing staff over and over again at him? That That's like the surefire way to either he just blocks it and whatever, or he just gets in. So you're both going to sit there, which is fine, but like that doesn't... That's what you're not getting. So what, what are you saying? Let's say we're in neutral... You have a fast reaction to wolf form any second. Okay, but Valkenhayn has trajectories that go over the vertical set or just right through it. Like, what are you, like the, not the small, yeah, you're talking about the vertical set, the one that goes in an arc. Valkenhayn has like, there's two ways he can get around that. One, he just waits a second and then charges straight at you. Or he just jumps straight over it. Use the right one and throw a bit. That's not, like, if he throws... What are you saying throw a bit, big hitbox in the middle? <clears throat> like a 5C or something? I agree that Lychee has, like, the tools to win the neutral and keep him locked down. But I don't feel like you need to be, like, careful with what you're doing. Yeah, but the thing is, like, let's say I throw the staff with the vertical set. Uh, let me pull it up. And then, like, her biggest hitbox without the staff is probably, like, 6B, which is pretty narrow, and you can crouch under it. Or, like, 5C, which is, like, the puff ball. Where is it? This thing. It has a little ball over it. But, like, if the staff is going up like this, and then you throw 5C, Valk could sit below like just wait a second because the staff will go over and then 5c is going to whiff and then he gets like a full just charge at him with wolf cannon that that depends on reaction so heavily like you'd have to react to the wolf cannon in time to get like a 11 frame move or whatever this is out it's just like I get what you're saying. Like, there are ways to control what he's going to do. He can... Wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's not a matchup I'm going to tackle much, but I don't think it's as easy as a lot of people think. I do think that Lychee is favored in the matchup, but it relies a lot on your reactions to seeing what he's doing, and a lot of Valkenhayn's shit is like... 
ridiculously not ridiculous you can definitely react to it but it requires a lot more effort on your end to react than it is for him to just sit still and wait for you to do something anyway um I'm pretty much done for today, I think. Um, there's nothing really else I want to go over right now, and I just finished doing what I need to do. So tomorrow I'll probably watch some more videos. Actually, I'm going to change this. We're going to do confirms. Because I was dropping a lot of spaghetti shit earlier. Uh, so I'll practice some combos, and then I'll open the room up, and anyone who wants to jump in. It is for lychee a lot. The thing you probably take too hard is if the lychee ever looks. Uh, it's not so much the schedule, it's just forcing myself to do the things that I need to get done, so. And when I say force, it's not like it's like the worst thing in the world for me to do. It's just something that I want to do and I've been putting off because playing the game is more fun. But it is things that I want to do. <clears throat> um, anyway, uh, the links below... If you want to join the Discord, or if you want to join any of the tournaments, it's not a chore. Like, I'm not saying, like, I hate doing it. I like learning like this. It's just that a lot of the times I'll just sit down, and I'll, like, sit in training, and I'll practice some combos, and I'll be like, I want to play the game now. And then when I get into the game, there's so much shit that I'm like, hmm, uh, I should really lab this, because I have no idea how to deal with this shit. Get a guy that wins 10-0. I mean, I hate to say that, but that's literally what, like, my entire career shit has been doing. Like, I play Chanye, Scrim, and Bacon so much time. <laughs> Way more than your two months. Like, I hate to say that. but No, I don't. Dude, I played a thousand hours of Lambda. <laughs> Switching matchups? What do you mean? Like, Chanye mains one character. Bacon plays a bunch of different characters. But for the most part, when I was playing him, he was playing about versus peeps. Is three people too much? Is that too much? <laughs> it's not like... Okay. Before what I was doing, I'm not saying playing bacon is good practice, but I'm saying that when I was playing Lambda, which wasn't that long ago, it was a couple months ago, and I was playing for months and months and months, there was a period where I would say, it's not like Lychee where I have to super think about confirms and shit. Like, Lambda's pretty pretty simple. So I knew what I needed to do, so I just challenge like good players to sets and for the most part i would play the same people over and over again and it's not like i was like failing with that but my new shit dude okay <laughs> i do agree that at some point that is a good way to practice but before i even have an understanding of my character i'm not gonna learn shit doing that Also, yeah, Lychee has good matchups versus everyone, so. <laughs> I mean, there's plenty of matchups I can name that I have a lot of trouble with because it's, like, more effort for me, in my opinion, than it is for the other people. The basics? Uh, not, I mean, I don't have... Hello, Kappa. I'm, I'm doing like an end of stream thing. I'm just talking at this point. Uh, I don't think... Maybe we disagree on this, but I don't think I have the basics at all. 
Like in Oki situations, I barely know what to do mid screen. And a lot of the confirms that I have are just not like they're so distance and spacing specific. That's just not worth it. Uh, I think my can swing in her favor pretty fast so I could play DXP a lot. But my point is I don't have the fundamentals and the basics down yet. Like it may seem like it because I've, I don't know, maybe you've seen videos or shit that I post a lot of combos or whatever, but it's not consistent yet. And like, I don't even know, like yesterday I was still learning things like frame traps or things to catch jumps which are like for me that's like step two of learning a character <laughs> like after you look through their move list and play around with the buttons and learn bread and butters like step two after obviously like neutral is like what am i going to do to catch their defensive options and like right now i don't think i have a clean understanding of that yet Yeah, I mean, I know what a frame trap is, but, like, for me, learning is much different than what you're saying. Like, there's so many, there's so much shit that I know the right answer to. But, like, in practice, it's not easy for me to do it, which is why I go into the training mode and I grind it. Because for me, that's the most effective thing to do. Yeah, because you, you have fundamental... <laughs> I mean, I don't mean to discredit all the time you put into the game and all that. I, I, <laughs> no, uh, I'm going to disagree with you there, but there's so many times where like I play. Yeah. I mean, I'm not just, I'm saying I don't have as much time in the game learning a character that would like teach me a lot of the shit that I need to learn. And especially now that I'm playing Lychee, like a lot of things are way different with this character than they are with a normal one. Well, reading is also like a skill on its own, but that's not my point. It's like fundamentals is like neutral and shit. And like what this, well, okay. I shouldn't say it like that. Even though he doesn't care to learn combos today. Well, yeah, he doesn't need to learn combos because he knows most of them by now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, that one in particular is like you need to be close enough for the 2C to connect. But I see what you're saying, where he he obviously knows a lot of the combos, but he doesn't like learn a lot of new shit. But that's like completely besides the point. I don't know why we're talking about Scrim now. My point is like I have a bunch of like... It seems like I have somewhat of a base and I do for the most, like I have knowledge. Like you look at this document and it's all this shit that I've learned and written down. But the point is like, there's a lot of the basic shit I don't have yet. Practice other stuff like actual games.
Like, what would you say I should do about when I play a game and I find a situation that I'm like, I don't know what to do here. Uh, or like a confirm that I want to lab out or like, might sound weird, but. Isn't that what I'm doing? <laughs> oh, you're saying learn. That's that's the next. You're you're thinking too far ahead. Like you guys are thinking that I have the fundamental and the base with lychee that I don't have yet. <laughs> like there's so many times. That's the thing I never do. I don't know. I think we have different. That's not true. That right there is not true. <laughs> I think even Chandra can tell you that. Like, it's not like I can't read an opponent. Like, there's plenty of times where I'm playing Chandra and I look at a habit and I notice it. Yeah. It's just I don't have the right, like, I guess my, I hate to say instinct. It's like I don't have the reaction part to build in to like counter it and I don't have the right like knowledge to be like playing on the fly yeah I think you're thinking one that I'm a step further than I am and two like everybody learns a little bit differently right and this is just the way that I think is the most effective for me and for a while it was working with lambda it's just I don't feel like that character was my style so that's why I switched and I'm not saying the way I'm learning is like the way most people should it's just the way that works for me best because I know my weaknesses where I get into a game and like there's so much shit that I I've actually noticed that I'm actually not that bad at, like, noticing other people and their habits and shit. It's just I can't figure out what to act on it in the time that I'm playing. Like, it takes me a while. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, anyway, I mean, this is the the way I've chosen, and as much as you might not like it, it's like the way I want to learn, so. How often do I lab other characters? Uh, Suzano is a character that I've learned most, like, I labbed a good portion in the beginning, but after, like, uh... I don't know, after like probably like 400 or 500 games, I stopped labbing with him. I mean, I could, I could do that, but I literally would have zero interest in playing them. And then I would probably lose motivation to even try to keep playing. I'd rather just learn a character that I think is fun, even if it takes me longer. I have plenty of time. I don't really care how long it takes me to get good. No, but I just have no interest in him. Like, aesthetically, I don't like him. And, like, his play style is like, eh. Dark Shadow, thank you for following. What's up, man? Uh... Yeah, um, <laughs> there's some cool gin stuff. It's just, uh, well, that's a whole other topic. I think there's not a lot of characters in this, like I'll meme about being angry and something about a character, but there's no characters in the game I legitimately like hate. 
Like, even if I say, like, oh, I fucking hate Valkenhayn and Ezio or some shit to Bacon, like, I don't actually hate them. Because I, I look at a character sometimes and I watch their combos or confirms and I'm like, this is a cool character. Uh, How about yourself? I'm just sitting here shooting the shit right now, I guess. I was going to close up, like, 30 minutes ago, but... Thank you, Mr. Sherman, for the follow. Uh, <laughs> just try the eighth, your eighth DDP, right? Uh, but yeah. Plus, I, I kind of like... Well, maybe there's... No... Even, like, Noelle, I think, playing her, like, if you play her in a non-drive spam style, I respect it, so I don't hate it. I think my promotes, they both, I see what you're saying, I think it promotes autopiloting until you hit a certain level, and then you need to learn, like, more shit. <laughs> So, like, there's a lot of shit that'll carry you to a certain level, but after that, you need to actually start, like, putting in time to learn, like, creative block strings and baits and all that shit. Yeah. Uh, well, I... The hope is that they reach that stage. It's going to happen to anybody if you learn a character like that. Um, the hope is that they reach that stage, they recognize it, and they want to do something about it. And not just get there and be like, oh, this game sucks, and then leave or something like that. <laughs> That's okay, Dark Shadow. I'm also bad, but I'm trying to learn the game, so that's why I'm putting on all this time. Also, it's just, I don't know, I find it fun learning like this, because I feel like I'm exploring a whole other side of the game that I didn't really, like, a lot of people don't even know about. Maybe that's, like, arrogant to say or something, but a lot of people I know don't sit down and do shit. And it's not saying that's, like, a wrong way. It's just a different way. I mean, you're at the point where I think you have all the gin confirms that you need, like, the practical shit down. That's why I think, like, when they say, like, an easy character where you can hit their ceiling and then you have time... Or not time. You can devote a lot more effort into things that aren't getting all the, like, optimal shit done and, like, practicing all your execution every day and making sure... You still need to do all that shit, but, like, you don't have to do it as hard as, like, maybe a Carl or an Izanami might have to do. 6B. <laughs> anyway... Uh, I'm going to close up. I don't know why I haven't stopped by now. So tomorrow I'll go over confirms and then I'll play somebody or I'll just open a room. We'll see. Um, if you're in the chat, you should definitely stop by and sign up for the weekly and also sign up for stomp on the eight. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>